who's going on the haunted hayride? Don't get excited. It's not a fun trick question. It's me, Tina. Oh, that's great, Tina, my little hayseed. It turns out all I had to do to get invited was impress the other 8th graders by making fun of my fetal pig. Huh. Teenagers are... Odd. And I feel fine about it because it's just a dead pig and I'm a human girl going on a romantic hayride. Aren't those the lyrics to a Taylor Swift song? All right, all right, enough about your day. A giant bowl of wax fell out of your dad's ear. Whoa. Whoa. Dad, are you dying? Why does everyone keep saying that? I took pictures of it. There's the wax next to a quarter. There's the wax next to a tomato. There's Teddy pretending the wax just said something really funny. We should make it into a candle. Sell it on Etsy. Or we could poke three holes in it and go bowling. What else do you think is inside Dad right now? Well, I'm betting there's something in that other ear. Uh, there is, I think. That's why I want to go in with the ear syringe. I've used it on you kids before, remember? Oh, yeah. Syringe McKellen. You're looking well. But here's the problem. No, stop! I'm doing the gargle thing. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not working on that ear. We got to go to the syringe level. I don't like stuff near my ears. Unless it's wax or hair. Or a juicy secret. You'll see. You'll all see. When you get old and your body starts to make weird balls of things, that falls out of you. I'm gonna be there laughing at you. Aw, oh, honey, we'll be dead, but we can laugh at them from heaven. I look forward <laughs> to it. What time is it? It's Halloween time. What time is it? It's Halloween time. So show your mother your costume. Yes, show them to me right now. Break it down, Bob. Drop, drop the beat. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> Louise is going as a well-dressed dad who lost his baby. Ugh, no, Mom. I'm the Bjorn identity. Oh, got it, got it, got it. And Jean, a jaw lady. Close. I'm Fiona Applesauce. Fiona Apple saucy aunt. Aw, you must be so proud of your niece. And Tina is going as someone about to slip into a coma. Tina, your mom's right. You, you should go lie down. No way. I'm going on that hayride. You should go lie down, huh, Dad? Huh? Whoa. Ugh, okay, fine. But don't pass out, fall off the wagon into the pumpkin patch, and get your head stuck in a pumpkin. Trust me, it could happen. Now everybody go. Have fun. I've got something special planned for your father. You're a lucky man, Dad. Okay, Bobby, come on in. Whoa. I put a bowl of Halloween candy outside for the trick-or-treaters so we won't be interrupted. Why are you wearing your nightgown? It's like 7.30. I just wanted you to be relaxed. Come on, lay on the bed. Okay, first I'm going to put some drops in your ear. And then we're going to wait 15 minutes, and then we're going to flush your ear out with a syringe. Okay. Okay, are you turned on? No. You're turned on, aren't you? A little bit. Do I need a safe word? <laughs> no. Maybe. No. Okay, Bobby, up, up. Tilt your head to the side. Let's see what kind of ear nugs we got, huh? I just want my life back. Huh, there should be way more. Oh, it's still in there. It outwitted the oil. Now it's laughing at me. Oh, no. I'm coming for you, you wax bastard. Don't you laugh at me. Linda, you're scaring me. This is my white wax whale, Bob. Everyone getting excited? Feeling good? Hot damn, I'm excited. I haven't met anybody famous since the clown at my seventh birthday party. He wasn't famous then, but later, he killed somebody. Cool. Like, when is this celebrity guy even getting here? I'm tired of holding the selfie stick up. That's what that is? I thought you were going, like, skiing or something. When's Shrek getting here? It's not Shrek, Andy. Spock? It's not Spock. Shrek? No. Star Shrek? Wait, is this a Star Shrek movie? No, there's no such thing. Uh, hey, Louise, I know you're kind of busy, but maybe later... Later, you can find some time to sign the you-know-what. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to save this spot for you. And it's coming off later today, so, you know, last chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe after the movie or, um, after the Q&A. Hey! There he is! Here I am. <laughs> ah, good to see you, Bob. Get in here. Oh, oh that, that, oi, that, oi, that oi, feels oi. good. Ah, you feel like a marshmallow wearing a t-shirt. Thank you. Ah, you changed your shampoo. I, I, I did. Smell very nice. Bob, 
Stop, stop hogging him. Come over here, you. How's Yuki's little baby? Unbelievable, the sweet cuteness. It's a total cuddle party. Pictures? You got pictures? Later, later, Linda. Aw, you torture me. It's nice to see you, Dominic. You too, Koji. And look around. The Hawk and Chick fan club is here. Aha, hello, chickenets. Hi, I'm Teddy. I'm sure these guys told you all about me. I uh, looked at Japan the other day on a globe. Pretty small. Ah, uh, yes. You know what? Let's get you to the VIP lounge for the remainder of the evening, shall we? Excuse us. Excuse us. Kojima, meet my good friend Rudy. Hello, Rudy. Ah, I see you've been injured. Yep, nine of sleep gone wrong. You know, I once broke my arm during a mime class in drama school. Oh. I remained perfectly silent, stuck inside that damn box. That's badass. All right, you guys can talk later. Right now, we're going to start the movie. Dominic, show us what you got. Hawk and Chick versus Cephalopod Monster! Cephalopod Monster? This is the movie we are screening? Uh-huh. And it gets even better. We got the only print of the never-before-seen-in-a-movie theater version, the director's cut! Director's cut? Yep, it's got stuff that was cut out of the original theatrical release. Isn't that great? My man! G great Yeah, yes, uh, uh... Dominic, let's do it, huh? Lights! <laughs> Hello, so you're Jean, the young thespian Teddy was talking about? And I'm his mom, Linda. Hello. That was a theater hello. <laughs> I'm Donovan, the director. Let's knock this audition out quick. It's tech week, and on top of losing an actor, I just lost a stagehand. He quit because he said no one noticed him, which is exactly what made him a great stagehand, duh. I love the high-intensity environment. I can't imagine what it's like when you have a packed house. <laughs> That's very funny. We never have a packed house. We've sold seven tickets for this show. So Seven? That's like eight. Oh, wait, that's still not good. No one goes to local theater. I probably should have listened to my father and gone into Something Safe. He owned a safe company called Something Safe. Let's do this, shall we? You're gonna be great. Now I'm gonna give you ten kisses real quick. Okay, okay, I gotta go. Okay, okay, go, go. <clears throat> Gene Belcher, four feet five inches, American boy. Special skills include sassy sound, smooth skin, heavy bones. Just start any time, please. Right, okay. For my audition today, I will be doing the fight scene from Mecha Godzilla vs. Mothra set to an original funky beat. Stop, stop. You know this isn't a musical, right? It's the American classic, A Potluck in the Grass by Alabama O'Callaghan, which you hopefully read. Oh, uh, psh, yeah. Which character am I auditioning for again? Quiet Eli. You know what? Why don't you just say this line for me? Gosh, mister, those beans smell delicious. Gosh, mister, those beans smell delicious! Great, not that. Go Gosh, mister, those beans smell delicious. Okay, not that either. What about this? Damn, girl, that pad thai smells yummy. What? What? Why did you say that? Why did I say what? Pad thai. Why did you say pad thai? I thought I'd switch it up. Also, doesn't pad thai sound good right now? Please say the line. All right. Gosh, mister, those beans smell delicious, even though I'd rather have some pad thai. You know what? I think we're done. Wait, really? Did I get the part? Um, I said we're done, which is something we say in the theater when we are done with you. Bye. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You were incredible. Pretty good. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Let's just go home. Uh, you know what? I, uh, I, I realized I forgot something inside. I dropped my breath mint. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, but I just don't think Gene's right for Quiet Eli. Trust me, he can do it. He's a natural entertainer. I'm sure he is. He's just a bit much. So then who's going to get the part? I don't know. Maybe I'll just ask my cousin. He's 26, but he has braces. Wait, uh, what if uh, we made an arrangement? Maybe I could work for you for free. You need a stagehand, right? I do, but maybe not you. Uh, hey, what if I help you sell some tickets? That's the toughest job in the whole show, honey. I can do it, honey. How many tickets are we talking? What if I pack this house for opening night? This is a 60-seat theater. That's nothing! But if I promise a sellout, will you promise to cast my little genie spice superstar? Throw in that first thing you said about working as a stagehand, and I think this might just be his big break. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna be a stage mom and a stagehand! What a day! Guess who's gonna be in a play just like Lin-Manuel Hamilton's? You're looking at Quiet Eli, baby! <laughs> So it seems like you couldn't go, huh? I couldn't go. And now my butt is a time bomb. I'm full of so many laxatives, Dad. This is my nightmare. 
I mean, it's almost impressive what you're doing. Your intestines have some serious willpower. Thanks. Hey, uh, I want to talk to you before you go inside. Look, if the laxatives finally kick in and you do have to go when you're in there, maybe you shouldn't hold it. Maybe you could try and go. What, what if it's not so bad? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Look, I, I know you're not a poop anywhere. Not a what? I'm just saying, Louise, maybe going to the bathroom at the aquarium won't be so bad. And after you go, you, you know you'll feel better. Oh, <laughs> won't be so bad? Yeah, maybe. I thought we were on the same team. Team poops at home. We are, but maybe you might not want to be on that team anymore. Right, then we're not on the same team anymore. I'm all alone. I feel so much better. Thank you, Father! Louise, that's not what I meant. Sorry, this music is so intense. I shouldn't have put on classical. I thought it would be soothing. Leave it on. That's how I feel inside. It's too sad. I I'm going to change the station. <laughs> Hey, hey, this is better, right? You feel upbeat? Oh, she's gone. Louise, I think I know what's going on here. We really don't have to talk about it. If you're too scared to feed the sharks, just say so. You don't have to fake sick. <laughs> oh, wow. That's good. That's that's funny. Hey, did you find a good spot to sleep? Since you're leaving, I'm going to take it, because I got stuck next to the eels. I never really put my stuff down. Son of a bitch. Sorry, you're seeing a little weak at Laban's. She's loose. Come on, Dad, hurry up. Louise, I'm here. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Totally cool that you wore that. Way to keep a low profile. Apparently, Louise is sick. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take her home to get better. So, how do you want to do this? Can you walk? Should I um, carry you to the car? I think that's a good idea. Just be careful. I can blow it any second. Oh, all right. Let's get you out of here. Wait, oh, uh, wait. Miss LeBons, do I need to sign Louise out or anything? Sure. Better sign something. Here, sign this. It's a pamphlet. No, it's a sign-out sheet. Oh, Dad. Hurry, please. I'm hurrying. <sighs> I'm signing, I'm signing. Done. Oh, Lord. Uh, I guess I'll have to see who got the second best grade on the shot quiz so they can do the feeding. I'll probably just make it up. I have no idea. Hey, uh, I'm sorry about the sharks, and I'm, I'm gonna get you home as fast as I can. Just so you know, I'm... I'm always available to come pick you up, e even in college or on international trips, whatever. I don't want to be like this. I'm missing a shark feeding. That doesn't feel good. I know. I, I get it. No, wait. I want to go back in. You do? What, what are you going to do? I'm going to go to the bathroom in the aquarium, and then I'm going to feed those sharks. Yeah, you are. A lot of kids. Not a lot of privacy. Thinking about going home again. What if, um, I do it too? In the boys' room. Do you have to go? I mean, I can always go a little. Aren't you scared? Well, you're scared, and you're thinking about doing it. Dad? Yeah? Let's poo this. How'd it go? I had a girl peeing on my left and a girl peeing on my right, but I didn't pee. Father, I pooped. So, success. A lot of success. What about you? It wasn't great. It took me a long time to get the suit off, and it didn't end where I wanted it to end. It wasn't my best work. Up top. Louise, I'm, I'm really proud of you. Can we save this uh, for later? Kind of in a hurry. I got sharks to feed. All right, uh, go feed the sharks. Have a great night. I'm going to go home and jump in the shower and throw this pickle suit away.